Hello! So welcome back to another episode. So in this episode we are going to sort out the trending topic sidebar. So it's going to jump straight into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the layers panel and the latest news, let me just collapse all of these. So the latest news I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to call this uh, sidebar. And then I'm just going to come down the page and I'm going to just nudge this out. So this is going to be obviously the sidebar. So I'm just going to nudge that over to there, just collapse that down. Zoom in a tad. I'm going to turn on the guides. So we're just going to nudge this so it's pretty much in the corner like that. And I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm going to change this to trending topics like that. I'm going to remove the, uh, let me just move this over. I'm going to remove the, these images because obviously we don't want these because they're way too big. So I'm going to change the name of this iMac article to Windows 8 Beta. And then the one below that one, well, sorry, the one above that one will be Apple iPad 3 Rumors. And then this Sony TV one will be Rim Release the Playbook. And that's it. So we need to concentrate on the, the Windows 8 Beta one first. I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm going to change this to say Windows 8 beta released and again I'm just going to leave the posted by exactly the same I need to grab this, this text here and we need to change that in a second we need to bring in the actual image that we're going to use so I'm going to go to my assets panel And I'm going to select this one here, the Windows 8 image, which is here. So I'm going to do Control A, Control C, and then I'm going to paste it in. And then we need to obviously bring that down in size. So Control T, hold down Shift and Alt, and click and drag it in, and then that will bring the size of it down. So I'm going to move that into position about here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this tool here, so the rounded rectangle tool, and I'm just going to draw around it like this until we get something that looks like that. And I'm just going to drag it below the image, and I'm going to change the colour to white. So now if we look at that, uh, we've got the shape underneath, but nothing really stands out just yet. So what we're going to do on this layer, the uh, the, uh, the rounded rectangle, we're going to give it a stroke. And the stroke is going to be a one pixel stroke. And it's going to be a very, very, very faint color like that. And click OK and click OK. So now we've got to do one more thing, and that's now to add some sort of shadow underneath. So this layer 9 here is actually the image itself, so I'm just going to duplicate that. And I'm going to drag it below the rounded rectangle tool. And I'm going to just go double click on it, and I'm going to give it a colour overlay. And I'm going to give it a colour overlay of black, like that. Now obviously we can't see that, but if I was to turn off this one and this one, so as you can see, there's the black square. So what I'm going to do, while the square's selected, I'm going to go up to Filter. I'm going to go to Blur and Gaussian Blur. And then now I can increase this. And you can see now we get this sort of shadow underneath. So I'm going to increase it to about... It's way too much. Probably to about still too much. To, if we say, 13 pixels and OK that. So I'm going to have to zoom in for this. So as you can see we've got the shadow on either side. What we want to do, we're going to do Control T and then we're going to right click and we're going to go to Warp. Now what this is going to do is allow us to change the, the shadow. So I'm going to bring it in 
like that and bring it in from the top bring it down so basically we're hiding the top portions of it but we're keeping the bottom bits uh, and then I'm going to bring this one in so I bring that down so the ultimate aim is to is to have two little bits coming out the bottom to make it look like it's it's um, bent in the corners so if I just pull that down a tiny bit more and obviously I'm doing this quite quickly because of the video um, now if I save that you can now see we've got this nice little shadow underneath and it looks like it's um, sort of bent in the corners it's just better to use this to do this technique than use the basic shadow that you get in Photoshop because everybody uses that so you want to make your stand out a little bit more and I think that does look a lot better than the basic sort of drop shadow style so now that that's in place we're going to grab this and we'll turn the guides back on first so we know where, we, where we're at so I'm going to put this here and just move it up above everything so now we need to modify the text so I'm going to click here and I'm just going to move this over until it comes to about there just after the image and, this, and just keep repeating the process until we get um, the look that we're looking for so I think if we remove the rest of it like that and click away you can now see if I turn the guides off we've got the article in place we just need to add a read more link which should be floating around somewhere down here so read more if I select the layer and just nudge this over as you can see it's coming into place nudge it up just turn the guides on yep so that's about right so now we've got that in place in fact what we'll do to save a bit of time we'll delete the apple one and the rim and then we'll just duplicate the windows 8 one because that's obviously all been set up and ready bring it down and then just change the name to apple duplicate again just bring that one down and then call this rim and again now it's just a case of changing the title so apple ipad 3 rumors Ooh. like that and then the final one Ooh. rim release the playbook so the only thing we need to do now is actually add in the images so I'm going to open those two up now so they were the playbook and da -da -da, the iPad one here so I'm going to click on the iPad one control A control C and then click on the actual Windows 8 uh, image here for the Apple iPad one control V control T and then bring it down in size just move it into position drop it down in fact if we zoom in a bit more so we can see what we're doing and I'm just gonna sort of put that in place so as you can see that's now in position and now the final one will be the uh, playbook so I'm gonna grab that one which is here so control A, control C, click on the image, paste it in, and then we just, like I said, we're just gonna drop this one on. So I'm just gonna zoom in. So again, I'm just gonna sort of put it in place. And just a tiny, tiny amount more I need to nudge it up here. like that and we are pretty much good to go and that's the sidebar in position like I said we will go around different sections and tweak them as we're going along there's one more thing we need to do though we just need to add this separator up here so I'm just going to zoom in 
So I'm going to click, just click on one of these links here, which will jump to the mobile one, and we'll just pop it into that into that layer for now. So create the new layer, and we're going to go over here to the line tool, and for the weight of the line, which means how thick it's going to be, we'll just set that to five pixels for now, and then I'm going to click from the start of this line. So if I zoom in a bit. So just above the latest news and below the links, I'm going to click and hold the shift so it'll complete a straight line all the way across. And then just move the mouse over until we hit this line here. So the line's in position, so if I just move that out of the way and just zoom in. So we want to change the color, so I'm going to select it. And the color will just be quite a faint sort of gray color like that. Click OK, and then do Alt Backspace, and that will fill it. So we now need to basically feather off the edges. So the way to do this, if we go to our Layers panel, make sure that that's selected, so it's here. We're going to go we'll create something called a Layer Mask, and this is the icon here next to the FX button. So that's now added a Layer Mask. What a Layer Mask will allow you to do is, to, as it suggests, to mask out certain areas. So the way this works is black will remove, white will bring back. So we need our gradient tool. And when you need to create a gradient exactly like this. So it needs to be black on the very left hand side. It needs to be white in the middle. So F, 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 F. Then it needs to be black all on the other side as well. And make sure you've got the layer selected. And I'm just going to collapse this down for now. If you click here and drag and hold, hold the shift key and drag all the way across and then let go. If I go back to the V key for the move tool and click away, you'll now see it's feathered it here on this side and it's also feathered it on this side. And then the final thing that I would do is just bring down the opacity of this layer. So it brings it just makes it more a little more subtle. So about 40%. Now if I minimise this and just zoom out a little, you can now see that that's added uh, that sort of nice decorative effect in. So the design is now starting to come together. The last thing we're going to do in the next episode will be to create the footer and then probably just tweak a few more things and then we'll be ready to actually make this into a full HTML and CSS website. And then I was planning, if people want me to do this, to actually convert the HTML and CSS into a, an actual WordPress theme, which then means you can then have all the, the database side of it that WordPress gives you uh, and all the plugins and all that good stuff. So if you want me to do that, please leave any comments below. Um, and as always, guys, feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to click that link in the top right for the next video. And I will catch you later.